Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to another Flashpoint review of the Galaxy Note 8. This is five months in, so this is not your tip atypical review. This is more of how I've used this device for the last five months. What I think, what I like, what I don't like, what I'd like to see improved, and if I'm still using the device. So I'll start off with the last thing I said. Yes, I'm still using this device. This is my daily driver. I did switch from the black one to, of course, this um, ocean blue or whatever the color is, coral blue. I can't remember the, the exact color name, but it's absolutely fantastic. I love uh, the design of the Galaxy Note 8 and I like the style. I mean, for me, it fits well for my hands. I have large hands. I've always talked about this and the phone fits well and easy for me to use. So it's easy for me to go ahead and even reach that very terrible location for the fingerprint sensor at the back, yes. But I can still do that. I don't like that and I'm glad we're gonna see some changes to that this year. But the design overall is really solid. It's great for doing simple tasks. And one of the things that I do a lot with the Galaxy Note 8 is use the S Pen. Now, some of you may not use that uh, a lot, but I do. I do for taking notes whenever I go to meetings. I also use it for um, signing documents. Uh, I don't have to print out stuff to sign. I don't have to waste paper. Uh, and I take a lot of notes with this. So for me, it's very nice to have that functionality built into this device uh, that I can actually go ahead, scribble down some notes and jot down things, especially when I have ideas for even some of the shoots that I do uh, with this. I can just decide, okay, shoot here, make sure you record that, and it's done. It's, it's built in there for me. Some of the other S Pen functionalities, of course, is of course, you know, the live uh, messages, which I don't use anymore. I, I honestly don't use it as much as I used to. Um, and it's something that, yeah, it's a little bit gimmicky and I would admit it uh, that way. But I like using the GIF uh, generator. I can create GIFs. I've done one for, of course, uh, my good buddy there, David from the Unlocker. Uh, but those are the things that I do use on this device a lot. Now, some will ask, okay, how's the battery life? It's five months. Uh, Samsung did not increase the battery size on this device. And I'll say the battery life has been good. Now, I have, uh, I, I will note that it's not as good as I would like and there's sometimes it will last me a whole day it still will last me a whole day um, and there's sometimes I do have to kick into of course the power save mode to stretch it out which is something that I I really hope they fix with their devices this coming year with be the S9 or the Galaxy uh, Note 9 but I do I will say the battery life has worked well for me on this device. Now the display is still gorgeous, it's a lovely display, so watching content on here um, is really good. When I look at my display, I don't feel like I'm looking at something that is, is washed out or terrible, and I like that with this, this device. In sunlight, you know, I like the fact that the when you're out in sunlight, you know, the um, display brightness really cranks up so that you can actually uh, see stuff better with this device. Now, some will ask, what about slowdown? Samsung is well known for slowdowns with the device. I will tell you honestly, this device has not slowed down on me. I have noticed that certain applications have caused some slowdowns and when I've uninstalled them, that hasn't been the case. So it might be also a mixture of um, what version of Android, the application and things like that. We know how Android can be with stuff like that. But in terms of general snowdowns, I have not experienced that. Now, some of you may think I'm lying, but it's just the truth. I have not experienced that. Now, the camera is awesome on this device. It's a really solid camera. Um, I like the camera. I like the rear camera a lot. The front facing camera is okay. I mean, it's good, but I wish it was better. I do not use this camera constantly. I won't lie. My camera phone is the Pixel 2 XL. I've said it in other videos, so I do use this camera from time to time if it's the only thing in my hands, but whenever I take pictures, I use the Pixel 2 XL. So I want to see this camera be greatly improved. It's a really good camera, that's the thing. This camera right here is really, really good. It's just that there is a better one, so I'm not gonna lie about that. I do like the fact there's a headphone jack now on this device, which is great, so I listen to a lot of music on my devices, and I use the headphone jack quite a bit. Um, so it doesn't matter what I'm listening to, um, this plays a huge role for me. And you know, having the headphone jack on this device, I think is very important for someone like me. Uh, so those are the things that I tend to use on a daily basis. Now, recharging my device, I either use a wi uh, wireless charger when I go to bed, so I just kind of drop it down on there, or I actually plug in with a fast charger um, as well. But those kind of functionalities are great and they work out pretty well. I think overall though, like my experience with the Galaxy Note has been really solid. Uh, things that need to change, of course, fingerprint sensor at the back needs to go to a better location um, on there. I do wish also that, that they would also add some more functionality to the S Pen, 
A lot of the functionality is great, I just want to see more so I can use more of that. Um, I want to see a bigger battery on this device come the next model because I think that is really important. I, this should be driving me two days, not day, a day, at least closer to 48 hours. I want to see that on this device. Um, and I also just want to see just overall improvements uh, on this thing. But so far it's been great and if you're looking for that productivity tool, it's pretty cool. The other aspect I forgot to mention is also using two apps at the same time. I do that a lot, um, especially when I'm going through emails and calendar and trying to just do some work like that. I do that a lot, or even just taking notes and maybe watching the video, it's the same thing. So um, that for me works out pretty well with this device and that's something that is really important. So there you have it guys. That is my flashpoint review of the Galaxy Note 8 after five months, almost six actually. Um, so if you have any questions or any comments about uh, what I think about the Galaxy Note 8 and what I'll be using it for, if you have anything specific you wanna ask, I'll try and answer them for you. Otherwise guys, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video. Now if you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely hit the subscribe button and the notification icon to get notified of our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.